Are you ready for the rite of tear? It is a cleansing ritual of prayer. It is held in seclusion here within the Hall of Justice. By purifying one's mind and reflecting on one's deeds, sometimes it allows one to achieve the clarity needed to avoid bloodshed in a trial by combat, by admitting one's guilt, although I do not believe that will happen this night. It is never winter law, and it must be upheld. You must complete the rite and prepare yourself for battle against your accuser in the morning. Your companions will have to leave you alone for the first phase of the rite. It is tradition. Follow me. Hold a moment! This rite of tear can wait! I haven't had my say yet! Why am I here? Well, it's because I want to take your place. That Torio, she's got you matched up with a Luskin trained killer. There's no justice in that little viper suddenly bringing a bear out of nowhere to fight you. Let me fight him. He's a, a dog, not even worthy of you. He fights like a Luskin fights, through daggers in the back, poison daggers even. We know how to solve situations. By hitting them until they break. <laughs> they know it. That's why they're doing the duel now. And I want to hit them. Hard. Because it's not fair, that's why. I don't mind a fight for fight's sake. But this crime they've accused you of. The slaughter of an entire village. It's more than just a fight. It's... You feel it is unjust. You're damn right it's unjust. This isn't just a fight by the gods. This is honor and fairness and the lives of you and those people of Ember who were slaughtered. After all you went through, all the searching for clues and those poor villagers to lay it all on your head, by the gods, I want to fight him. I'll show him justice. You are allowed to choose a champion. Do you wish this one to take your place? You must still undergo the rite of tear. But when Lorne emerges on the field tomorrow, it shall be this one who fights in your stead. Fine, but my instincts are right, and he'd regret the day he set foot on that battleground tomorrow. I just hope you don't regret it. I will see your friend out, then return. May Tyr's justice fall upon us all. Here you will remain until we come for you in the morning. Gaze upon the face of Tyr and let him gaze upon you. If you are true to your word and deeds, then you need not fear his judgment. You are permitted visitors during this time, for often... Justice does not solely lie in the words and deeds of the accused, and you may gain truth from the words of those closest to you. We will return for you on the morrow. So, quiet enough for you. I mean, now that Kelgar is done ranting, I heard it from several streets away. Actually helped me find this place. I hope you don't mind if I come in here and just start speaking my mind. Otherwise, this place would seem awfully dull. I must say, I didn't expect that we would be able to force Torio's hand like this. Trial by combat is a rather desperate maneuver, quite unlike her. It's really rather quite pleasing. And if you were to beat Lorne, well, that would make me simply ecstatic. I could help, you know. Here, take this. It's a few special concoctions I whipped up to help you tomorrow should Lorne decide to poison, cheat, or simply give you several gaping chest wounds. And, uh... No need for thanks. It would just be embarrassing. Let me leave you to it. But, 
There is one last thing. Our friend Torio. I think she's rather close to breaking. It's what happens when one is tied to an ill-conceived plan. As I once felt. And I think Torio is one who prefers to be on the winning side. Worth thinking about, especially if she is at our mercy later. Good night. Just thought I'd swing by, though I didn't want you to get ambushed in the middle of the night. Chandra mentioned what happened last time, so I thought I'd check out the meditation chamber. Big statue, by the way, but don't look for the donation box. There isn't any. <laughs> and, you know, make sure everything was safe. I wasn't offering. You're on your own, just like every night. Stay with you through the right? <laughs> In your dreams. But, uh, I did want to say something. <laughs> you know, uh, good luck tomorrow and all that. And, uh, you know, I, I could make justice happen a little easier if you wanted. <laughs> well, a little corrosive acid, <laughs> courtesy of Sans Shop, don't tell him. And Lord's Falchion won't be as sharp as it normally is, nor will his armor be as strong. <laughs> it happens, things weaken over time, entropy or something, <laughs> blameless. Alright, it'll be done. Don't you worry about a thing. Lord's gonna find himself being hit a lot more and doing a lot less hurting than he means to. Trust me. Oops, time to go. If they ask you about the donation box, tell them it was missing when you got here, alright? It is time. Torio? And Lorne, await us on the field. Nasher wished me to communicate to you the importance of the coming battle, both for you and for Neverwinter itself. Isn't it nice to know he cares about your well-being? Are you familiar with the Arcane Brotherhood of Luskan? For too long has Luskan's Arcane Brotherhood had free passage in Neverwinter. This trial is a means by which their presence here can be removed. What happened at Ember was a terrible crime. And they are responsible, of that we are certain. Fight Lorne, defeat him, and you will prevent Neverwinter from sharing Ember's fate at Luskan hands. Succeed in this, and Nasher has promised to grant you your own land, and a noble title if you so wish it. These are dark times, and he needs every loyal hand by his side should more troubles fall upon us. Very well. I can ask for no more. The tourney grounds await. <laughs>